to get yeah. over the I think that more than saving the money or disciplining yourself, you have to get over the stigma of not keeping up with the Joneses. And that's heavier. That's a heavier weight uh, than uh, you sacrificing to uh, afford things or to, to, to save or something like that. You've got to walk around for five, ten, whatever years. You remember, we knew someone that had an old junky car and uh, drove that car for a long time. Uh, one one lady teased him about the little car. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and how do you get over hey, I'm working towards something. How do you, you can't, you can't just tell everybody, hey, don't make fun of my car because I'm working towards something. You, you, that's not something that you can just walk around with a shirt, you know? Well, you don't have to answer all your critics, all your people that throw stones at you. You know where you, you, you're going. Uh, I worked in prison and jails for years, and I'm using this as, as an example. When I first started out, when inmates would yell something derogatory, you know, I turn around and go back and forth with them. But as I matured and, and learned, you just keep walking. And you don't turn around and answer every comment that somebody says against you negatively because you know where you're headed. You know where you're trying to go. So keeping up with the Joneses, you don't want to be the Joneses. You want to be, in our case, I want to be the McBrides. You know, let people say, how do I keep up with the McBrides? You know, so I'm not worried about keeping up with anybody. I'm focused on what, where we're trying to go. And that's what I would say to, to someone if they was asking me that. You have to be focused.